Okay, so today's video is just going to be a quick tip guide, more or less, of how to install new tailpipes. I went ahead and installed the intercooled carbon fiber tips from Borla. Uh, I got them from for a decent deal, uh, about a thousand bucks rather than, rather than I think like 1400 list. Either way, you can see they're very, very nice, clean. Uh, granted, I also just put them on. Okay, so the first tip is to obviously jack the rear of the truck up. Now I'm only using one at the moment just because that's enough to show you everything uh, and it gives me enough room to move. Uh, but ideally you want to use two, one on each side. And of course to make sure that they're stable. Tip number two is lower the spare. You're going to want to move this a lot when you're working. Um, obviously you want more slack in this line here uh, just by turning. I guess your tool more. Okay, so right there is going to be your main issue. Uh, that gets rusted on really easily. So you're gonna wanna use something like WD Specialist, uh, the rust release, and also just a lot of regular WD-40. Uh, and over time, just like not um, wiggling the exhaust back and forth, basically just like this, it'll come loose and then you'll be able to just pull it out. I also recommend putting WD-40 uh, just a little bit on the rubber, rubber mount. Uh, that way you'll be able to slide it out easier because those can get uh, hooked. And as the instructions say, uh, for any kit you get, or they should, it will be impossible to install without removing these brackets. Make sure not to lose those bolts or any part of it. It's not that hard not to, uh, just keep them together. Uh, and make sure you keep the orientation right. If you mix up which side is for which, it's going to be a lot harder to put back together. The one way you can do that is just leaving them on the old exhaust until you uh, have the rest of the new exhaust in place. Now the Borla exhaust comes with two pieces for the driver side. As you can see, there's a, a bracket there I put in because, well, you have to. You're gonna to wanna to make sure you put it in the right direction though, uh, otherwise you won't be able to install your exhaust. I mean, I, that's simple enough. If you're, if you're installing it in the cold or maybe even in the warm, but the cold more so, uh, if you notice that the hangers are loose inside the rubber mounts, that is likely just because they were expanded and of course cold so they can't, they're not very malleable uh, from the old exhaust. But after a bit of driving and moving around as temperature changes, uh, they'll become nice and tight again. Okay, and one other tip when you are putting the new exhaust in place is you may notice that they slide in really easily and even when you tighten down the clamps, uh, I over torque them a little bit above the recommended 32 or 36 uh, pounds per foot, but you may still notice that they're quite loose inside, uh, but that's just because of the lubricant inside and it's nothing to worry about. The lubricant will burn out um, as you use a vehicle and then they will solidify in place. So there's nothing to worry about there. So to install a kit like this, it really shouldn't take more than an hour. It could take an hour and a half, especially if you're working in the dark and in 30 degree windy weather like I did. Uh, but otherwise, this is not really that bad of an install. The only difficult part is removing the old exhaust. All right, thanks guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments section below appropriately titled uh, and if you really liked it please hit that subscribe button we come out with interesting content all the time Dwayne will soon be installing and actually putting together his own roll cage for the uh, bed of the truck and I'm also going to be doing some installs for some new lights uh, as well as a blow off valve from TurboSmart and of course the AFE tuner once it is released